Hello YouTube, this is Killer Cheese here, and today guys, I am going to be showing you how to blur your background. So, right now, as you can see, nothing is blurred right now. I, I'm in focus, but everything else is in focus. And what we want is a blurred background so you guys can just focus on me. So guys, there are a few settings that come into play when it comes to blurring your background, but the main one is aperture. So right now, I'm going to show you some settings on your camera that you should do so you can have a blurred background. Okay, so I'm recording on my phone right now, and here you go. You can now see the camera, and yeah. So what you want, guys, right here, uh, if this can focus, here we go. So here is the shutter speed, and then there's the aperture right there. Now what we want to do is first... We're, if we're lowering the sh uh, aperture, the camera's going to absorb a lot more light, so we need to lower our ISO. Now that the ISO is lowered, we can lower our aperture, and then what we want to do is get the aperture to the lowest. So the lowest my lens can go is 3.5, and here we go. Now we are going to switch so over to the T5i. So as you can see, now this is in focus and I'm not but look if we take this away let it focus so guys you guys can see now that the background is a little blurred not too much though but one way to make this even more blurry is if you take a step back and zoom in there we go now the background is a lot more blurry as you can see guys by lowering your aperture and zooming in a little bit on your subject you can get a pretty blurry background now you guys can focus on me a lot better this also works with photography and on things that aren't humans and yeah I'm about to show you how I photograph just a random like plant uh, in my backyard and I'm gonna show you how I could get a really really nice blurry background picture of that plant alright guys so right now I'm going to be showing you how you can um, blur the background of just still objects like a plant or something and yeah I'm gonna be trying to take a picture so what you want to do first is set your camera to manual focus that's done on the lens and then you just want to spin this wheel until you see the background is blurred and then once it is you might want to zoom in a bit and then once it is just take the picture like ready we gotta adjust this a bit more all right, and there we go. That is an example of how to blur the background on a still image. And I'm gonna show you a few others that I've taken with this camera outside my backyard. So guys, this has been how to blur your background. So when you wanna blur your background, just remember, make sure your aperture level is the lowest number it can be. Make sure to zoom in a bit, have decent lighting, and also make sure to not be like against your background because then it's not going to be blurry. And yeah. Also, just a tip, to get the best background blur, I would really recommend using manual. But if you're not going to be sitting in one place, then um, you can use autofocus as well. Also, one other thing to note, guys, is the reason my background's not too blurred is because I only have an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, which can only go down to 3.5 aperture. But, guys, there are lenses that can go up to, down to like 1.8 aperture, which will get you a super, super blurred background. Now, I plan to be getting one of those lenses very soon, but if you guys really want a really, really blurred background, then go for a 50 millimeter 1.8 Canon lens. And yeah, f1.8, make sure it says that. And then, yeah, here's a picture of it right here. Um, that's what it looks like on Amazon. And yeah, that is how to blur your background, guys. This was the fifth, yeah, fifth part in my seven day how to improve your video series. And make sure to click on the whole playlist right here, guys. And I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.